Hi everyone, Alex with Beam It Up here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create a mechanical joint pipe type using Revit MEP. So you can do something that looks like that. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna specify our pipe segment, then we're gonna specify our mechanical joint fittings. This will be an example of a mechanical joint elbow. This will be an example of a mechanical joint T. And the important thing to note here about mechanical joints is that you'll have a gland that you have to push towards the socket and then you align it, right? So it's pretty similar to a flange. If you haven't checked out our, our video on pipe types, on flange pipe types, go ahead and check it out. The link is in the description. And let's jump right into it. So you're in Revit. Before anything, I'm gonna ask you that if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you get notifications. Okay, so I have Revit fired up and uh, we're gonna go get our fittings first. So for that, you wanna jump into your library. That's typically located in your C drive, program data, Autodesk, RVT, whichever release of, of Revit you're using. Uh, libraries. In my case, I'm in the United States, so I'm going to go under US Imperium and um, we want to go into pipe and then we're going to go under AWWA fittings. And AWWA is the American Water Works Association, so it's simply a standard that manufacturers want to comply with. Uh, this is uh, the American National Standards Institute, so you could go online if you want to read or, or understand a little bit more about that. But what matters to us here is that uh, our fittings are going to be manufactured under the C110 standard. And then we're going to go under C110 ductile iron and gray iron. And most of the fittings that we're gonna use for this one is gonna be on the, they're gonna be under class 250. So let's go under mechanical joint. And now we need to start picking our fittings, right? So, and I'm gonna drop them into my project at the same time. So I want to have Revit right here. I can take this to my other screen if I want. But I'm going to leave it here so you guys can see. So for our elbow, we're going to get a bend. Um, this is mechanical joint, ductile iron, class 250. So let's get this one here. Then for our junction, uh, remember the rule of thumb on routing preferences is that if you can find a reducing T, go ahead and get that one. And in addition to that, you get the standard T for the sizes for which you don't have the reducing T. So let's go ahead and get this one here. And this one is going to be our standard. Again, mechanical joint, ductile iron, class 250. For our cross, we're going to do something similar. So we want to get the reducing. And we want to get our standard. Remember to pick the same class. And this GI is for gray iron. If you're doing gray iron, you can do that one. In our case, we're gonna to stick to ductile iron. Then for our transition, we wanna get a reducer. Uh, let's see which one, it's gonna be ductile iron right here. And now for our union, uh, we're gonna get a sleeve, a short sleeve, let's see. It would be this one here. And now for a flange, we want the gland, and that's the only thing that we're not gonna find here. I'm gonna show you in a little bit where you can find it. So for now, let's just get our cap, which is gonna be this one, and let's drop all of those into our project, and then we get out of here. So similar to our fittings, we also have a standard for the rubber gasket joints and it's the C111. 
So we're gonna go back to our main AWWA fittings and we're gonna go under C111 and then we're gonna get our gland and we're gonna dump it into our project. All right, now we're ready to set up our pipe type. So let's go down under pipes, pipe types. And let's duplicate this standard and let's rename this one to mechanical joint. Now let's go into type properties and routing preferences. So the first thing we're gonna do is here for our pipe segment, let's go with a ductile Aaron. Let's see what we have. It's a this one here and then under elbows we want to have that bend that we just brought in mechanical joint ductile iron class 250 our preferred junction type is going to be t the t that we want to use here is going to be the t mechanical joint ductile iron class 250 the cross oh uh, something before I forget we want to also include our reducing T so here's the T reducing mechanical joint ductal iron class 250 and we actually want to have that one as our preferred T let's make sure we set this up to all this to all and now let's go under our cross and we have a similar situation here so let's get our reducing cross Mechanical joint, Dr. Aaron, class 250. And we're going to add the standard mechanical joint, Dr. Aaron, class 250. Now for our transition, we're going to go with a reducer. That reducer was this one here. Again, MJ, DI, class 250 our union and this is very important this is the that sleeve that we selected a short sleeve this one here and then the flange is going to be that gland that we selected last and then our cap is going to be our cap dish mechanical joint ductal iron class 250 <laughs> And it's now telling me that it's set to none. So we want to make sure that we have that set to all. So let's go in there again and set it up to all. And then this here also to all. We should be ready to go. So let's take it for a test drive. Let's go PI for pipe. And we're going to go into our mechanical joint and let's say we're doing a six inch let's do an offset this is typically for underground pipe but i'm just going to put it at four feet just to test it out so that's our pipe right there let's test our elbows working really good now notice something that here are we have our fitting and the fitting has the mechanical joint style end but then also on our pipe side we have an additional gland and that's the one that we specified right here under flange see gland ductal iron so if you go here and you click on it that would be it gland ductal iron so we're good with our elbows now let's test a couple of T's. We want to test our reducing T first. So let's go with a four inch out of a six inch and see what happens. Working like a charm. Now let's do a six by six. Perfect. And now what else? Let's see our, our reducer here. And it's changed from a six to a four. Working very well as well. And finally, let's do SL to split our pipe. Perfect, so we're getting our mechanical joints here. So if you wanted to remove this piece, for example, you 
you can do that. So that's about it for now. And if you enjoy this video, make sure you like it down there, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you get notifications. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.